Residents in and around New Orleans not getting mail. It's a problem we've been tracking across the metro for weeks. The message reaching Congressman Steve Scalise in Washington, D.C. People were, you know, they just thought it was just them. And as we dug into it, it turned out it was wholesale. A wholesale problem shortchanging people here for years. For several years, we had terrible mail service. Nancy Pearson organized her neighborhood and demanded a new mail carrier. Her neighbors hoping this one sticks. After all the years of not having mail, she left me a thank you note. Danielle Kent lives in Gentilly. I want my mail. She says her mail service is good, but only when a regular carrier is on the route. When he's off, it's terrible. Um, last week he was on vacation, we didn't get our mail for three days. But that doesn't mean the trucks aren't running. Kent says she noticed what was being delivered while her mailbox remained empty. The frustrating thing is when you see them, you actually see them drive past and drop off a package next door and then keep going and drop off another package and you notice they're Amazon packages. So they're, they're not picking up your bills that have been sitting there for two days, but they're dropping off their Amazon packages. A spokesperson for the United States Post Office said Amazon does not get priority over your mail. But Scalise says the federal agency is not putting in the work to fix any of the problems. I'm real concerned about the lack of uh, the lack of willingness for the post office to address this problem. It's an internal problem. Uh, they've got to fix that problem. They have staff over there, and I don't know if everybody's working or half the people are working. There are good people over there that work, but clearly the job's not getting done. I checked back in with the residents we originally told you about back in January. Many of them told me that since our story first aired, their mail service has improved. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we hear for the first time what local managers here in the Metro New Orleans have to say about these postal problems. Reporting live in the CBD, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.